Here we have what's called the golden rectangle, or sometimes the rectangle of the whirling squares. Because once you know how to lay out the golden rectangle with those proper, as they have been called, to divine proportions, you can create this logarithmic spiral that looks something like this, that we actually find reproduced in various natural phenomena. So this is the rectangle of the whirling square. It's also known as the golden rectangle. It was very important to artists and architects and builders throughout the ages, including, I would suggest, the builders of Stonehenge, because one very prominent place this particular rectangle shows up. And here we have an elevation diagram of the horseshoe trilithon, the big rocks in the middle. And here the red bound border gives you a golden rectangle. It looks like the five horseshoe trilithons were quarried and shaped and assembled, reproduced the golden rectangle. Either that or it's just coincidence. 